infusion using a drop set so let's read the question 250 mils so that's our volume is to be given over two hours so let's highlight that, that two hours here and I can simply translate into numbers two hours using a standard giving set which is translated in the brackets here but we need to know a standard giving set is always 20 drops to the mill so for this type of question we could simply try to use that idea we used uh, with the pump which means we could say it's our volume in milliliters divided by the time this time though because we're not using a pump we are using a drop set every time we use a drop set we have to bring our time down to the minutes so time in minutes multiplied by the drop set or the giving set that is always going to be in drops per mil i'll talk about that in a moment the drops per mil so if we were to do this then this is not using a box method it's just using the idea of volume over time volume divided by time and then using a drop set we have to multiply by the drop set so let's see what we would do here our 250 mils is the volume over divided by two hours the problem is as soon as we see drops we don't want hours we need to change this into minutes one hour 60 minutes two hours 120 minutes if we can we just do it in our heads if we need to we use a calculator but calculations with hours it would be nice for us to do them in our heads as well so 120 minutes so that's what i write here cannot use hours when we're talking about drops then multiplied by the drop set the drop set in this case was to be the standard drop set or giving set and that's the 20 drops to the mill so I'll just write here 20 drops per mill the per always separates like a fraction the first part is on the top the second part is on the bottom so why do I do it this way just so that we can visualize again the cancelling look at that mills on the top cancel with mills on the bottom and look at the final answer ends up coming out in drops per who's sitting on the bottom minute so our final answer will be drops per minute some people write the pm drops per minute so let's do a quick estimate here 250 divided by 120 well 250 half of that would be 125 so if we had 125 on the bottom our estimate would be 250 divided by 125 is 2 2 times 20 40 so we are expecting I'll write it on the bottom here something around 40 drops per minute it's not the answer the accurate answer but it's our estimate so then we push the buttons 250 divided by 120 multiplied by 20 so i get 41 point and now the calculator will show us lots of digits after the decimal point and it never stops with sixes talking about drops imagine a drop falling it cannot be a fraction it cannot be a decimal number it cannot be a broken drop so drops are whole numbers number of drops are whole numbers and then we can never give an answer like this we can write it down it's no problem but then we have to look at this and analyze okay 41.6 it has to be a whole number so our breaking line has to be right here at the point we want either 41 or 42 it cannot be 41.6 then you do your usual mathematical rounding because the next digit 
after the point is a six. Six is on the list just with the five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That asks us to round up. So instead of leaving it at 41, we are going to say 42 drops per minute. But there is no way we can give an answer with a decimal number or a fractional number to drops per minute. We could do that if we were talking mils per hour, but not drops per minute. So this is the calculation. We have a few things to talk about here. So let's just go back to a fresh screen. Um, we were talking about the drops per mil. Just to understand that really well, 20 drops to the mil, just what that means. Well, the invisible one that we've been talking about is there. So it's 20 drops in each one mil. One mil, one milliliter, is the same as a cubic, imagine a little box, a cube, all sides, length, width, and height, all the same, and measuring one centimeter. So it's not exactly the size, it will, but just to give an idea, imagine one centimeter length, width, and height in a little box, and you would be able to fill that with a liquid that would be one mil. So what has been done here? This one mil has been divided, just roughly on my picture here, into 20 equal parts. So imagine 20 equal parts, that, pretending this was one of those 20 equal parts, that would be the size of each drop. So one mil, picture that very little cube, that little box, one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, divided into 20 equal parts, 20 equal little cubes. That's the size um, of the drop that we have here. That's how much liquid each drop will have. So the drop set is always the number of drops per milliliter. How many drops are contained in one milliliter. And the 20 drops per mil is the standard giving set. If we were now, going back again, if we were to actually try to solve this calculation using the box method, it would be fine. We would just need to use two boxes. So we, would, we could get started drawing our box. It's slightly different with the want and the have, but we can use that idea. So we want to infuse, we could say, 250 mils over two hours, which we know is going to be 120 minutes. Because if I see drops, I know I'll have to actually go down to the minutes. And we are using a 20 drop per mil set. So what we could do here first is maybe relate the 250 mils with the 20 drops to the mil. So this 20 drops to the mil is the same as 20 drops per one mil. So that uh, orange one could be acting as our want. And this purple one here, two pieces of information, is acting as our have. So if we were doing the box, we would say, okay, 20 drops. It's not concentration, but it's just that ratio that we use in every proportional box method in one mil. So that's gone. And if you need to remove that, then 250 mils. Yes, I can add that to the box, but not to the top because that's the place for the drops. I can add it here to the bottom, 250 mils. So we just do the calculation as we would 
normally do. But look at the main diagonal of this time. Because the number that we have sitting on the bottom, the main diagonal is on this side. So we multiply that. 20 drops times 250 mils divided by the third number, which is 1 mil. So what happens here? The mils cancel out. And our answer here will be 20 times 250 drops. So it's drops, the final answer here. So 20 times 250. Well, let's do 2 times 250. 2 times 250 is 500 times that 10 that I didn't multiply the zero with. 5,000. Or we simply push the buttons 20 times 250, 5,000 drops. But we want, every time we are uh, trying to get the infusion rate using a drop set, we need drops per minute. So all we have here is the 500 drops, 500, five, sorry, 5,000 drops. So I do another box now to say, what do we have here? Well, we have five, oops, 5,000 drops. What's the time we have to infuse? 120 minutes, because now we are actually using these 5,000 drops with the 120 minutes as a new ratio, because we want to infuse the 250 mils that converted into 5,000 drops, infuse that over 120 minutes. But what did we say? Every time we're working with drop sets, we want the answer in drops per minute. Per minute meaning per each one minute. So that's why I would say I want to know how many drops in one minute per one minute per each one minute. So we have a box again. And this time, same as before, our main diagonal is sitting on this side. So we multiply 5,000 by 1 and then divide by the third quantity, which is the 120. So 5,000 divided by 120. We could even cancel a few zeros there, one zero on top, one zero on bottom. 12 is hard to work with, 10 would be easy. How many tens into 500? 50. So our estimate would be 50. So we push the buttons anyway. We can do the full 5,000 divided by 120 or 500 divided by 12. And we get the same 41.6666 that we had before. So we know we are talking drops. Is This cannot be our final answer because we cannot accept a fractional drop, a fraction of a drop. So because it's 0.6, we say 42 drops per minute. Same answer as before. So it's there for you to analyze. Probably easier, quicker, if we just go straight into saying we get the volume in mils, divide by the time, so we are infusing a certain volume over time, but must be in minutes, because we are using a drop set multiplied by the drop set in drops per mil. The two boxes take us exactly to the same answer, but this it's just a matter of seeing what will be more natural for you to do. And always remembering that we need a whole number for an answer, for the number of drops. Whole number. We can never have a fractional number for the drops. And the final answer will always be in drops per minute if we are infusing with a drop set, with a giving set.